President Barack Obama is sidestepping questions about whether a Chinese dissident is in American custody, underscoring how the case has become a tense test of U.S.-China relations. Obviously, I'm aware of the press reports uh, on the situation in China, uh, but I'm not going to make a statement uh, uh, on the issue. In a news conference Monday, Obama never mentioned Chen Guangchen, a blind Chinese dissident who fled house arrest and who fellow human rights activists say is being protected by U.S. diplomats in Beijing. Activists say the U.S. and China are attempting to negotiate an agreement for Chen to get asylum. But as that effort unfolded behind the scenes, Obama would only say that China's record on human rights is a key concern for the U.S. It is our belief that not only is that the right thing to do because it uh, comports with our principles and our belief uh, in freedom and human rights, but also because we actually think China will be strong uh, as it uh, opens up and liberalizes uh, its own system. Chen is a well-known dissident who has angered authorities in rural China by exposing forced abortions. He enjoys broad sympathy among the Chinese public for persevering in his activism despite being blind. Chen made a surprise escape from house arrest a week ago, escaping at night and evading armed guards. Chinese rights activist Bob Fu says he believes the U.S. and China want to resolve the awkward diplomatic debate quickly. Mr. Chen uh, prefers to stay in China if he and his family's safety and freedom can be guaranteed. But, um, you know, given the current um, environment in China, um, that might not be possible. So a viable option is to have him and his family uh, come to the U.S. For the Obama administration, the timing of this diplomatic deal is particularly tricky. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner are soon to travel to China for long-planned meetings. And the U.S. is seeking Chinese cooperation on a range of foreign policy issues, from Syria to Iran to North Korea. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, the White House.